What's going on? Brad here. Uh, today we're doing an update on what's been happening with the making of Mado in Game Maker Studio 2. Since the last video, quite a few things have changed on a smaller scale. It's still very much uh, a kinetic flow based 2D platformer. Firstly, I started off with kind of pivoting the way I wanted it to go as far as what the game's sort of characteristics are. I, I worked on a, um, a game dev document, which I hadn't actually done before I started this. I used a template, rough template that I seen um, a YouTuber by the name of Game Dev Underground, I think. It actually helped me a fair bit, so I would definitely check that out. Um, it basically what it is is kind of like when you're in a band you're you go into a studio before you've got an album coming up and you go and record pre-production and basically those songs act as a reference for how you're going to go and then improve or what you should take out what's missing so basically the game dev document it really helps you kind of not have to keep that floating in your mind so you can have that on paper and and go with it the change I made I really which is kind of funny because when I very first set out I really did want to kind of do something that was a bit dark and gritty my wife and I really loved watching as did probably millions and billions of other people the walking dead and stuff like that and just the vibe that was in there the enemies had no real characteristics before but now i'm calling them um like the rotters and given that mado's a tomato tomato the game begins in this underground bunker he gets a phone call and it's time for him to try to get out of he's he's basically the last the last veg standing or a tomato's fruit i think they're maybe like one of those weird controversial fruits that's actually a vegetable. I started drawing, hand drawing some ideas, you know, like the banana crawler, kind of like when you're playing Call of Duty Zombies and you need a crawler. Uh, we've got the Rotten Toms, who basically just kind of cruise around and the enemies don't necessarily interact with Mado. I had them chasing Mado, but it felt like they were too switched on. I kind of wanted them to be really dulled down. I wanted the game to feel a little bit more lonely and somber. So that was the angle that I went with. I also wanted to put verticality into the levels on a more consistent scale rather than just have vertical levels. First I put a parachute in so we could parachute down but I was like man I really wanted to also be able to go back up. I ended up giving him a jetpack and I had icons that you could get and then he would get the jetpack but then I kind of really I kind of missed it and I kind of wanted to keep him in all the time so I then I spent a little bit of time um making sure that the jetpack didn't feel overpowered. You can kind of fly through a lot of the level early levels so far but I've really made it that it's slower, it can be a little bit harder if you hit a wall or a roof, the way the power cuts out straight away. So you can't just kind of fang around until you hit a wall because if there is a, like a death trigger below, you're gone. Speaking of that, I've also brought in systems going on like there's a level timer lives now in the game so you can increase lives and if you die, you decrease lives and then you game over if you run out. I'm still committing so far to no, no mid-level checkpoints and no save states because I really want it to be like that old weekend, go down to Blockbuster, go down to Game Guru and rent a cartridge on Mega Drive. You're playing it to try to finish it. If you don't finish it, you got to start again next time you play it, right? I really like that. So this game is kind of forgiving in that way. You can stockpile lives in the same way that you can sort of do in like Donkey Kong Country. The other big thing that I did was tidied up a lot of the code and I watched some videos, I'm pretty sure it would have been Sean Spaulding, about the benefits of actually running um, states. And I just hadn't done it before out of laziness, but I, I listened to the video, uh, one of his videos where he's kind of like, hear this out because it will it, it will actually save time down the track, which it 100% does. So basically I, I set Mado's states up. Uh, so he now has a walking state, a jetpack state, and a climbing ladder state. You know, it's good to be able to do things like Mado can't kill an enemy when he's on the ladder. Mado can't kill an enemy when he's on the jetpack. So again, bringing the, making sure the jetpack isn't an overpowered uh, state that Mado can be in. So yeah, that's, and I spent a lot of time kind of brushing up the sprites. Um, and that's something that you ongoingly do anyway. Like I'm not happy with where the run animation is at. He needs more frames added into that. But yeah, I'm happy with where it's going. I'm almost at the point now where I think I can just start f going through and making levels. I'm really fighting off the fucking features creeping in because you just have ideas all the time. And my son's always like, hey dad, what about this? And a lot of them are really good ideas because he loves video games. And I'm like, shit, man. That would be cool. Another quick update, um, I'm actually, I've actually started working on another game that's completely different and, and I'll do a little bit more about that. It's a game called Glade Runner. 
it's set like with the aesthetic to like an 8-bit system like the Sega Master System style it's actually kind of drawing influence from games like Action Fighter you are like this unknown protagonist that lives in the Florida Everglades area and he's like running packages and the cops are all over him and you're just belting through on an airboat that's that's really drifty I'm actually trying out a lot of the built-in functionalities of Game Maker Studio I know that this is I wouldn't say frowned upon but it's recommended not to do this because of the limitations man I'm straight up straight away hard up against limitations of like using the built-in speed variable rather than building my own speed uh, system but there are some perks for a top down like image angle the image angle and the add motion and things like that the only where I'm the only place I'm really find it limiting at the moment is trying to program the enemy AI in properly to give them acceleration rather than just getting straight up to speed. I'm not worried about it because I will get it. Also with this I've built in a tile collision system whereas Mado is, is an object collision system and that's got its whole own little bits and pieces. But the one thing I did do with this is I straight away started up building uh, storing scripts and building state. Going through the process of starting a new project it's been really good to go back in and actually structure it in advance knowing the pitfalls of letting it all blow out and get messy but i'll talk more about glade runner in another in another video because i do really want to talk about that because it's completely different to mato it's going to be probably come out before mato because it's a more simple game that we want to put out and face whatever the hurdles are of actually putting out um games entail because there will be hurdles as i mentioned for our day job we make ads we make videos putting an ad on tv is a lot more complicated than anyone would ever think i have released an app years ago but i had help to do it this one we want to do in-house do ourselves once the game's been developed definitely on steam itch android and ios for glade runner we're not sure about mado yet but anyway i'll keep updating thanks if you've watched um and you've joining along on the journey i appreciate it um but regardless making video games has been an incredible creative outlet for me and I really enjoy doing it. Hopefully these games will be out sort of early next year and you know people can start checking out what I've been working on. So in the meantime any questions or anything at all hit me up on Twitter or here on YouTube or Instagram even though fuck Instagram but you know I'm on Instagram. Anyway have a good day, enjoy, take it easy.